Today I'm going to show you how to get a free notable home, Hall of the Lunar Champion. And I will also show you how to unlock all of the rooms. First off, I'm going to give you a little tour of the Hall of the Lunar Champion. Show you everything that you'll be able to unlock. You get this first area over here and you could decorate it. Then for each one of the quests that you complete, you're going to unlock one of these portals. The first area is the Lion's Cradle. Let me show you how it looks. It's a pretty decent area and you could expand outward with certain items. So you could widen this area if you wanted to. And it has a little house over here. It's pretty nice. Now let's go check out the next area. Okay, next area is over here, through this portal. This is the Moongrave Fane. This area is pretty cool. This could be like a little chill area. We could hang out. Let's look at this. There's a lot of potential. And there's water over there. You can swim in it. Like a little pool. Then we have this little room over here. Right here. Let's take a look. Nice little room. Now let's go check out the next area. The next area is through this portal. Halls of Colossus. I love this one the most. Let's look at it. It looks so nice and it's opened out. If you wanted to, you could extend outwards towards that direction. And you could even extend and go towards the water down there. Now I'm going to show you how to get this notable home and unlock everything. To get Hall of the Lunar Champion, the notable home, you have to complete the quest called Two Queens. This is going to give it to you and it's also going to give you your first tablet. If you want to find this quest, go into your activity finder, zone guide, and it's in Northern Eswire. It's a main story quest and you can see it's the fourth quest over there. Hall of the Lunar Champion is located in Northern Eswire. Right over there. After you get this house, it's very important that you put this tablet down so you don't forget. Behold the Lunar Champion. Let's take this tablet and put it right here. You can put it flat if you want. I'm just going to drop it. And after you drop, it's going to make those beams come out. Then you have to complete the other quest to unlock the other areas. To unlock the portal to Halls of Colossus, you have to complete the AF Anequia. This is the last zone story quest in Northern Eswire, as you can see over here. After you complete this quest, make sure you take the tablet and you come over here and put it right over here to open up the portal. Altar of Betrayal. Okay, there's a tablet right there. Take it and put it right here. Should open up the portal. And there it is. To unlock the portal to the Lion's Cradle, you have to complete the Dragon Guard. And this is going to give you the next tablet that you need. This quest is located in Southern Eswire, and this is the final story quest. Now you're going to want to bring that tablet that you got and put it right over here on this altar. Just place it however you want. Now you can see the portal has opened. For our next tablet, we have to complete two dungeons. Lay of Masterlock and Moongrave Fane. After completing both dungeons, you're going to get the tablet that's going to unlock the portal to Moongrave Fane. And you want to come here and just drop it right here. Take a tablet, put it however you want. I'm just going to place it on here. And it's going to open it up. As you can see, the portal has been unlocked. After you have placed all of the tablets, you will have access to every single room. And if you're missing any of the DLC content, you can still get them. Because ESO Plus goes free a few times a year. And you can just do the quest while ESO Plus is free. So you don't have to spend anything. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.